this video we'll show you another way to fit a demand curve or follows lipstick tech. And this comes from a book, Power Pricing, by Robert Dolan, former dean of the Michigan Business School. Not sure where he is now. But it's a very clever way to estimate a demand curve. Okay, so what you do is you say, at the highest price we might charge for a product, suppose it's chapstick. I guess I call the file lipstick, but I think lipstick costs more than this. So if a drugstore or supermarket is trying to sell a tube of chapstick, they say, what's the highest price we might charge, and what do you think you'll sell this week? So the highest price you might charge, let's say, is $250 for a tube of chapstick. You might sell $20 a week. What's the lowest price you might charge? Let's say $1.50 and you think you'll sell $60. In a week. What's a medium price that you might charge in the middle between the high and the low price? That's $2. You think you'd sell $51. A week. That gives you three points. Now, you know, two points determine a line. Three points determine what type of curve from high school algebra? A quadratic. So you could basically say, I could fit these three points with demand equals a constant plus B times price plus C times price squared, okay? And that's a polynomial of what we say degree two. And Excel with a trend curve can fit that, and basically the polynomial option can fit polynomials, I believe, up to degree six. Okay. So if I want to graph this here, I can use polynomial two to find this demand curve with this form that exactly goes through these three points. And then I could fairly well assume that if I charge a different price, like $1.80, whatever is the Y coordinate on the demand curve would be a good approximation to the demand at that price because the demand curve goes through these three points. So if I do insert, scatter, here we go. something like this. Uh, we shall make it a little bit smaller. Okay. So if I would right click on this, you see that's not a straight line by any means. Right click, add trend line, polynomial. So let's see, the highest degree I think is six, yes. But I'll do two. Okay, and I just want the equation. I don't really care about the R squared. And there we go. So that would say, make this a little bigger. And we'll see that this perfect, perfectly fits this equation, the three points that we have. So if I make that a little bit bigger. Okay. Demand equals... Minus 44 times price squared plus 136 times price minus 45. Okay, so now if I would put a price in, let's suppose I put 150 and I put a demand in here. I could say equals minus 44 times price squared plus 136 times price minus 45. When I charge $1.50, the demand comes out 60. Charge $2, demand comes out 51. Charge 250, the demand comes out 20. So Excel has completely found the curve, or accurately found the curve, that basically is a polynomial of degree two that goes through these three points. So you might say if the price is 240, whatever is the height of this curve at 240, should be the demand, which would be 28. If the price is 160, I would predict we'd sell for 60. So that is a nice way to estimate a demand curve that sort of picks up the curvature of the demand curve. Okay, in the next video, we'll return to the power curve and talk about the important experience or learning curve, which is very important business. Okay, so thanks for watching, and, and there's a free course, a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, and all of these videos are coming from one of three books. So first, this one, which you can see here at the top of the screen, um, Microsoft's book, which has 355 reviews, uh, and then it's, let's see, 4.6 stars. Um, it's coming from this book as well, his marketing analytics book, which is down here. 
and you can sort of see 4.5 or his newest book, his analytic stories book, which is here. And with that one, you can see it's four point something or maybe even five. I don't think it's five. Yeah. 4.8. And so yeah, anyways, in the description, there's a free 21 day course from Dr. Winston, um, or you can go to excelwithwayne.com slash free and it'll be there. But again, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, just uh, please let us know. Thanks.